I'm Dean Tilly. I'm 20 years old. I live in uh, Cape Town, South Africa. And just firstly, I want to just thank all the other speakers. It's been so interesting hearing everyone's unique perspective. Um, everyone's kind of the way that they've managed to uh, observe and, and kind of operate in the world around them. And I just want to thank the organizers for, for having such a unique group of people with such differing kind of ideas and, and differing places. So just a bit of context, um, I'm a photographer. I've been working as a professional photographer for about three years now. I've done commissions for CNN, Adidas, Asics. I worked, uh, I did a documentary project for Def Jam Records who um, represent artists like Kanye West, Frank Ocean, Rihanna, and um, done BMW as well. And, and, and kind of what I want to talk about here is I want to speak about uh, the power that kind of we have as, as young people, which is actually not even a power. It's like a, it's like a superpower. It's unique. And it's something that, that doesn't really, it's, it's something that I don't know if sustains through an entire career, but something that you have as a young person is a kind of like this cultivated um, perspective that is something that has always been really valuable, but, but in today's day, it's something that is so unique and is something that is actually kind of, extremely sought after within a, in a commercial kind of commission sense. So I want to talk about this, this, the, the main, the main kind of topic I want to speak about surrounding photography and, and how empowering it is, is the power of representation and how powerful it is to be able to choose how to represent yourself. Number one, and number two, how the representation is, is so valuable to businesses and, and people that, you know, that will commission you. So I'll kind of start off where I kind of started with my photography and this started when I was 15 years old and I was at a flea market and I saw someone was selling like a, like a really old kind of film camera and I bought it for 200 Rand, which is like about, it's like less than 20 American dollars. So it was really a very cheap camera. Um, I was so excited to have it because you know, I had, I had like my phone, which was really bad and I had like a small little digital camera and it just it was something I really liked doing and, 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 I, and I wanted to kind of take it a bit more seriously. So I bought this, this film camera and I started photographing the people around me, I started photographing kind of obsessively everything that I did. Um, and something that I realized pretty soon was that um, just the act of documenting yourself, document, documenting your surroundings, documenting your unique perspective, whatever that perspective may be, for me as, as, as a Jewish person living in um, Cape Town, South Africa, I feel like that's quite a unique placement to be in, you know, in terms of like a global kind of audience. And just through honestly uh, representing myself and honestly representing the people around me, that kind of got a lot of attention and, and, and it actually started exciting quite a lot of people. And I realized that, you know, as, as much as it was exciting for myself, it was exciting for other people too. And then when I was 17, it was my last year of high school. I got a really crazy email, which was basically like the big break was when um, CNN contacted me saying, we want you to do a portrait commission. Um, we want to we want to commission you for International Youth Day. We want you to talk about um, what you find to be the biggest problem affecting your community or, or the world around you today. And this was a huge deal for me. Um, it was something that really kind of for the first time showed me um, how kind of in demand, honest takes are and, and 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 that's honesty within everything honesty within music honesty within i mean a lot of the other speakers have spoken about this idea of um honesty and the power of creative expression and i think that honestly it's it, it cannot be it cannot be overstated how powerful honest uh, artistic expression is um so this was 2017 i did this i did this portrait commission for cnn it went really well and that really burst the door open for a lot of more uh, commission. So like I said, I did a, a very big project for Adidas over three months. I started working for, um, I started doing documentary work and something that I found ex you know, extremely humbling was the people I was studying within a high school context, people that I later, later ended up working for and working with on, on, on massive projects. So the point that I really want to make to the people that are, you know, obviously the majority of people on this conference of teenagers, um, you really cannot see your age as a deterrent or your age as like a, you know, a lot of people, a lot of adults normally out of insecurity will say, you know, you'll, you'll figure this out when you're older or you'll kind of gain a perspective when you're older. That is true. But a lot of the time, the perspective that you currently have as a teenager is something that is so valuable, so powerful. So, um, it, 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 it honestly, there's, 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 it's, I, it's, I find it hard to articulate how, how valuable and how, um, under 
purposefully under motivated teenagers are to kind of enact change or enact things that they want to see in the world or enact just small things like I'm going to start doing this project and I don't have any money to do it and I'll use all the money or all the opportunities I have to do it. So that's from a personal level, the power to empower yourself. But now this is on more of a, on a macro level, the power to be able to represent your community or yourself or the people around you um, is so valuable in terms of changing perceptions or, or, or changing predispositions predisposed ideas of you uh, at the world at large. So that, that's a lot of what I try to do within my documentary work. And, and something that I hold pretty close to my chest is no matter how, and, and I think this is probably something that has made me, um, I think it's probably been one of the cornerstones of my successful photography or success within my photography is, is holding this idea very close to my chest. No matter how I photograph something, no matter who I'm photographing for, whether it be a commission whether it be um, for a personal project or whether it be literally photographing someone on my phone, I try and do that with an utmost authenticity to the person I'm, I'm representing and to myself through my own vision. And I think that through this simple thought structure that I think everyone on here, if, and it doesn't matter if you want to be a photographer or a musician or a writer or a director, if you want to make something and you want to make something within the creative industry, there is nothing more valuable that you have than your unique, authentic perspective. It is absolutely your most valuable asset. It is by far the most valuable thing that you could ever have. There's no amount of money. There's no amount of gear. There's no amount of opportunity that can replace how impactful it is to have a unique perspective. So I'm going to end off with this kind of this notion of within the world we exist in now, there's this pull away in the commercial sense, in the um, artistic sense of this kind of like disingenuine creation, making something because you think it is what people want, making someone because you've seen someone do it before, that the age of that is dead, it's gone, it will never exist again because it's been oversaturated for too long. Now, what is happening going forward, and I hope this is something that really sticks to everyone listening, is that you, in your particular situation, no matter how amazing or dire or any way in between, you can leverage that to create something that is not only empowering for yourself financially, it's empowering for every single individual within your scope that you can represent. So thank you very much. I'm Dean Tilly and I'm really, I'm really glad this, this, this whole talk could have happened.